today we're back on the HS2 site with the hard hat on of course and uh, we're here to look at the Lawley Middleway Bridge, one of several structures being used to get HS2 trains into Birmingham. Weighing in at over 1,600 tonnes, this massive structure will carry high-speed trains across one of Birmingham's busiest highways. The Lawley Middleway carries traffic around the city centre, and HS2 contractors have had to work at night to get this viaduct across the road. But the first task was to spin it round. Because of space constraints, it was built at right angles to the road and spun round before being jacked up and moved into place. We are so con constrained with space We've got so many of these structures to build that in order to keep to a programme we want, we want to make sure we can build more of them in one go and if you're trying to do them all, all together it becomes really, really difficult. So we decide Lawley Middleway to do sidewards and then launch it and that allows us to work on the other assets at the same time. Anyone who's been watching the work for HS2 kind of failed to notice these concrete supports rising up from the ground. The one behind me is one of the biggest. And that means there are even more superstructures being built for what's called the Curzon Approaches because they bring trains into Curzon Street Station. This is the station's site, although there's not much to see at the moment, soon the station will rise up from the ground. You know, we look at this, this is 1,600 tonnes is a superstructure, but you know, behind that one is another 4,000 tonne superstructure, behind that is another 7,000 tonne superstructure, 1.6 kilometres of viaducts as you come into Curzon Street. Uh, and uh, you know, when you, when you start to see it, you know, a lot of people talk about coming on the train and starting to see things, things really, really grow now. So it's a, it is a really exciting part of um, High Speed 2. The bridge over the Lawley Middleway isn't the largest structure. This is, this is Curzon number two. It's 150 metres long. The truss is 25 metres high. And when it's complete, it'll become a new landmark on Birmingham skyline. Curzon number two is already dominating the area, rising above nearby houses. The arch truss is virtually complete. So for people like Greg Sugden, after all the planning work, what's it like to finally see the structures become reality? Even today, it's been a bit of a wow day when you actually start, start to really look at it across, um, you know, actually across the road, you can start to see the, the, the size of what, what this is gonna look like when we're, um, when we're fully constructed and we're bringing those trains in. So yeah, it's really, really good, it's really, really, um, motivating and heartening to see that we're getting to that point. Like or loathe the idea of HS2, looking at what's being done on the ground close to Birmingham city centre and you can't fail to be impressed by what's being achieved by the various contractors. Although there's still doubt about when the line will open, work is still continuing at pace.